In this Super Bowl 52 instant playbook preview, I predict the Philadelphia Eagles to win this matchup because I think they're better in the trenches. And let me give you a couple examples why. They can rush Chris Long, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, and Derek Barnett, all former number one draft picks on their defensive line, and get pressure. And right here, when Fletcher Cox runs this twist stunt, and he takes the left guard and the center with him, and Brandon Graham loops around, and then you bring Chris Long and Derek Barnett screaming off the edges, they can get pressure on your quarterback with four. Keenum in trouble. Steps through, fires, and incomplete for Rudolph. They can pressure your quarterback so he can't step up into the pocket. This will bother Tom Brady if he can't step up and he's got Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham pressuring him. Even the greatest of all time will have a hard time making throws from his knees if that defensive line collapses like that. That same Eagles defensive line plays the run on the way to the quarterback every single play. Let me give you an example on this first and 10. The 25-yard line is the line of scrimmage. When Case Keenum hands this ball off to Latavius Murray, watch the Eagles reestablish the line of scrimmage. Trailing for the first time, and they stay on the ground with Murray, and he's bottled up for the one-yard gain. Vinny Curry out there on the edge. Vinny Curry, Tim Jernigan, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham have reestablished the line of scrimmage. They're playing defense on the other side of the line of scrimmage. So now what does Latavius Murray have here? Does he have any alleys? Does he have any holes? As both inside linebackers also step up to fit the run, there's not much. The Eagles were the best in the NFL at defending the run this season. The Eagles are complete because in the trenches, their offensive line is playing as well as any. And in this play, they go to a seven-man max protection. They're going to keep seven in for a flea flicker right now, including Brent Selleck and the wide receiver, Nelson Aguilar. The Eagles are six for eight on third down. Flea Flicker, Foles launches downfield. Smith, touchdown! Nick Foles needs time to get this done. They've got a clean pocket right here. So when Corey Clement throws the ball back to Nick Foles, look what's going on up front. Big V handling Everson Griffin. Wisniewski and Kelsey handling Barr and Joseph. How about Brandon Brooks and Lane Johnson handling Kendricks and Johnson? And even on the outside, look at Brent Selleck and Nelson Aguilar in tandem together, sealing the edge. So when Nick Foles gets this ball back, he's got a pocket and he's got vision and he's got time to drop this ball in the bucket to Torrey Smith for a 41-yard touchdown. The Eagles do a lot in the run game. Here they go unbalanced. They take their Pro Bowl right tackle, Lane Johnson, play him at left tackle. And their Pro Bowl tight end, Zach Ertz, and they play him at right tackle. And the Vikings adjust accordingly. They take Anthony Barr and Eric Hendricks and three defensive linemen, and they overplay to the unbalanced formation. So the Eagles, with Clever, they run a quick toss to the weak side. Zach Ertz on Weatherly, Brandon Brooks on Harrison Smith, and quick toss to Corey Clement. That's why they're leading by 24. Here's a toss to Clement. Avoided a tackle, has another first down. The front side blocks are made, but the back side blocks are just as important. They build a convoy on the back side. And when Corey Clement cuts inside Brandon Brooks' block, look what he's got going. Look at these blocks down the field. It's a thing of beauty. Just a convoy all the way to the sideline. And none of these backs like to go out of bounds. Of course, when you have Coach Belichick and you have Tom Brady at quarterback, you always have a chance. The 37th playoff appearance, eight Super Bowls, and he loves the stage. And he sees the whole field. He's in command and he's in control. 17 years of experience, he could call any play. But he loves to get five receivers out in a route to spread the defense out and protect with five. He loves the quick passing game. But here he's got more options to go to. And once he locks into his receiver, 
He throws with anticipation and uncommon accuracy, unlike almost anybody that's ever played the game. Brady looking around. Caught. Amendola with another catch. Colvin reached out to knock it down, and somehow it was threaded. Look at this throw to Danny Amendola here, as Aaron Colvin is all over. The ball is only where Amendola can get it. As good as Aaron Colvin's coverage is, the throw beats the coverage. And that's what the Eagles have to deal with on Super Bowl 52. Bill Belichick and Josh McDaniels have complete trust in Tom Brady and his decision-making ability. So on fourth and one, Tom Brady, he reads two defenders in the middle of the field. He knows he's got man coverage everywhere else. He dials up a double screen here for Danny Amendola to come off it and run the wheel route. And that's exactly what he gets. Less than two to go. Brady lost it. And he's got his man, Amendola. Great route combination. There's the first rub. And Amendola comes right off the hip of James White. Now Brady's got to cut it. The ball open to an open patch of grass. And that's what he does. I like the Eagles, but we know that Brady and Belichick are a tough combination to beat. 